A Yatalnan Milia on. Wrong language. Hi, today we are going to go over how to download products by native instrument. So the first step is get your your downloader, whatever it may be, if it's uh, massive or reactor. Uh, although I'd never recommend just buying reactor by itself or uh, even contact by itself or even battery by itself. Um, it's just, just buy the pack, actually. But anyways, um, so basically I have Complete 10 Ultimate, so I'm going to open it and it's going to, your Windows, um, there's no difference for Windows and Mac here. Basically the Windows, uh, the Mac's just better. Okay, now we are done, so... I'm going to go on to um, doing this. So basically, I don't just pretend like you can open the service center right from here. Um, but basically, instead of doing that, if you don't have it on your desktop, a one way you can do it is um, open your DAW, go into your documents. The file, unless you changed it, will be in your local disk, program files, and all the way down to native instruments. You have 64, 32, um, use 30, use the best one you can use, and then I'm going to copy this, this DLL, and then I'm going to go to my VST. So basically what I do is I make a documents, and then I make VSTs. I recommend doing this to anybody. If you have FL Studio or Steinberg, um, products, like for, for the like Cubase, for example, do not put them in your, your drive, your, your PC in like program files into um, Steinberg or sorry program 86 there's a there's a Steinberg VST folder somewhere basically you don't want to put it in there because it's like a waste so in this folder I'm just gonna paste it in my VST folder I made in my documents and then I'm gonna look for it here in I don't know what I expected there's a problem with Windows just being a piece of crap um, so, like, that's what's happening right now. Yep, there it goes. Man, why couldn't it just work? So, basically, when you open anything... So, let's open Massive. Oh, wait, that doesn't work either. Let's open... <sighs> why is Windows so crap? Alright. When you download anything, it will automatically download Surface Center. You can't avoid it. It has to come with it. So basically, if you don't find it, just uh, go to your search engine. Like if, for example, let's, we'll do like this. And then just type in um, Service Center. What? Never mind. You can browse. And you can look for it, um, or every Windows has like a search function, right? And when the, for some reason it's replaced with this annoying Cortana. And so I'm just going to type in service center, or you can look into like your recent apps, um, and then scroll through and look for it. And uh, you should be able to find it in the end, hopefully, in native instruments, service center. So, once again, it's going to think you're trying to blow up your computer. Tell it that's exactly what you're trying to do. And then it's going to do a self-update. Uh, make sure all your keys and stuff, registries, are not being fooled around with. So, now what your next step is, is you're going to go to Google. Or, or whatever. Um, and you're going to go to the Native Instruments website. If you don't know how to do that, you basically make a new tab. You don't even need a search engine. And you just type in Native Instruments. And it's the first thing to pop up. You click it, and then click My Account. So, if you don't have one, make one, I guess, and buy your product, or else why even here? If you're torrenting, doing this is not going to work. Um, so, basically, you have to sign in. So, you sign in. And then once you sign in... Um, You'll be at like account settings or not even. You'll be at products if you, unless you click like the thing I clicked. Then you just click my account, my products and serials, and then like literally right here you'll have all your serial numbers. 
and then you just click you, you will select whatever one it is you're trying to work so because I'm activating complete 10 ultimate I'm gonna come here now and I'm gonna paste it in with control V because you can't right click in here and then you click activate it'll make sure that you're legit and then um, it will activate all products have been activated just like that and then now you can use it although if you're on Windows good luck using half the plugins you have so uh, yeah